Hello, my Facebook, YouTube, Twitter friends, email forwarding bodies. Hello, I'm so excited about this video. I know I say that about every every video that I make, that I'm so excited about it, but I just love what I do, so I am truly excited about it. Um, so today I'm going to show you, would you believe me, first of all, if I told you I can make these look like really, really, really cute, slick pocketbooks. I hope you believe me because I can. Here is a bag that I made out of. It was actually a um, a toaster that I had gotten. So it's a toaster box bag with some handles that I purchased from Joanne Fabric and a little brooch over here. And this is all like a turquoise. Um, it's a turquoise corduroy. And here's the inside of her. And these wooden handles. How cute is that, right? And I've got this bag that I did. This was out of a toaster. Um, I'm sorry, not a toaster box. Um, I, I think it was a popcorn box. Um, and I just used this cloth fabric. And this was a belt that I found on clearance at Target. And here is a piece of corduroy that goes over the top of your goodies. You put your stuff in your bag. You tuck this on top. And here's the back of it. And bam, how cute is that? How cute is that? Okay, so excuse the outfit today, ladies. I came home today and pulled my jeans off and put on some um my PJs so I could be comfy while I'm doing this. Anyway, okay, so uh, we're going to do, um, got glue, we're going to do a handbag out of this Con Air box. And what you're going to need for this project is a box, whether it be a cereal box or any kind of box that you want to use, however the size, width, and depth of it, a pair of scissors, some glue sticks, one of my best friends, my glue gun, and some pocketbook handles. And you can take handles off of an old bag. I do that often. Or you can purchase them at um, Joanne Fabric, Michael's, the Goodwill. Go to the Goodwill and go through all their old bags and take the bags apart and do what you do. Okay, so we're going to start off with the lining. The lining that I'm going to use is this pink fabric. It's pink and kind of brownish kind of. Okay. So this is going to be the lining. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take some glue gun, I mean some glue, and shoot it down into the bottom of this box. The glue stick. Okay, I'm going to shoot some glue down here in the bottom of the box. Then I'm going to take my lining and quickly, because the glue gun does dry fast, and press that down in there. You can see I'm securing it to the bottom like that. And what I'm going to do is straighten all this up and completely wrap it all around the edge of the box and by the way this is going to be a part one part two and part three I did this um, the other day and I uploaded the video and unfortunately it was 27 minutes long and I didn't know that you couldn't put a video up that was 27 minutes long so I had to uh, redo this so I'm going to break this up in parts so this is part one okay so here is the inside of our bag, and I'm going to take the glue gun and run it across the top of the box to fasten the lining in, like that, and rub that down to get it nice and secure. And I'm going to go to the other side. And I'm going to do the same thing 
Ah! Whew. That glue is super hot. Be super careful with the glue gun. This isn't um, really too, too much you need to see. I'm just kind of straightening this out so it can be nice and smooth inside the bag, okay? So then I'm going to take the glue gun, run it across the top of the box, and secure the lining down like so. And... So here's the box slash bag so far. Here's the inside of the bag, the lining. Here's the outside. Turn it all around. Da, 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 da. And I'm going to be covering this in denim today. I love denim. Anybody that knows me knows I love me some denim. Love working with denim. Okay, and I've already pre-cut this. Pre-cut the, um, the denim fabric so it's already the length that I need. And what I'm going to do is, I've already, what you're going to need to do is fold it down. You see that? How the denim is already folded down to create the, um, the hem that I'm going to need for it to be at the top nice and smooth. And so, since I've already measured this already, here is the hole. It's completely measured, completely fit. As far as length is concerned, and I'm going to take some glue, my little stage is sliding, take some glue and run it right across the top of the box, right there where we just secured the inside of the lining. Fold that over like that, press that down a couple seconds, be careful because the glue is hot, hot, hot. Okay, so here we've still got all this open, and this is white here because I, before I did the video, I did something and pulled this uh, fabric off of something else, so I still got some paper on it. Okay, so I'm going to squirt some hot glue all across the top here, and fold that down, can you see that? Fold that down and secure the bottom. Okay, and now so far we've got this one side secure, the bottom secure, and now I'm going to pull this up to finish off the top and shoot some hot glue on here to secure and press that down and hold it here for a couple seconds and I'm going to stop this video because I believe I'm at the time, yes, 8.22. I'm going to stop and come back for part two.